Well, Pastor Phil, welcome to Conversations. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. It's been a really good weekend. We've just come out of a Super Sabbath. Mm. What do you think were the high points of this Super Sabbath here in Adelaide? I, I, I think it was the excitement of getting so many people from around Australia to come together. Mm. Um, I think it was exciting for them to know that uh, there's more brethren associated in Australia and also just the, just the uh, understanding of uh, what we spoke about, like bubble based and so on. Mm. Uh, it gave them an understanding that there's, there's a lot there that they maybe haven't thought about before. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. It was good. Yeah. I, I was very excited. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was a good feel. It was a good warmth <laughs> was. and a good, good love. And, it was. And reflective of, of the part of the body yeah. of Christ where we are at the moment. Yeah. It Going was. back over the years, were you called to Christ within the context of the Church of God's Seventh Day? Can no. you tell me just a very briefly no. of your journey to Christ? Well, uh, my journey came from the dark side. You know, it sounds like, like I said a few days ago, it sounds like Star Wars, but it's not. Mm. Um, yeah, Sue and I were in a, a group that uh, dealt with demons, and mm. but we called them guides, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and, and God, God was very gracious to me and my, mm. my wife, especially, I thank my wife as well. To, and from there, we left that, that black, dark place and we started with the, uh, I started going to the worldwide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for three years but uh, things changed and I was very thankful that uh, when I left the worldwide a, a gentleman I only met once rang me up and said would you like to come along to the Church of God Seventh Day and that's when everything changed mm -hmm. and uh, I was very thankful that firstly that when I came to the Lord there was a minister who taught Christ, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. And that really helped me, that, that was my basis. Mm -hmm. And when I came into the Church of God Seventh Day, that, that's what I kept going, you know, mm -hmm. Christ-centered, Jesus everything, you know. Uh, and I was very excited about that when I came to it. Very interesting. And now, over the years, you've served in various capacities within the Church of God Seventh Day, and today you are Zone representative for Zone 6. Can you tell us a little bit of what, what the Pacific Rim consists of? Yes, yes. Uh, well, of course, New Zealand. That's exciting. We've mm. got now a church in New Zealand. And, uh, of course, uh, Philippines has about 7,000 members. Mm. Uh, that's really exciting. Uh, and then we have uh, a small, just a few handful in uh, Indonesia. And, uh, as you know, we went to Malaysia uh, a few years ago. So... The, uh, it's, it's wonderful that we started off with one, one country, but now we've got uh, these groups coming together, and it's wonderful. Uh, and of course, uh, it's exciting to be not just Australia bound, but world bound. Yeah. You know? What do you see as the greatest strengths throughout the region, the Pacific, region, uh, Pacific Rim? The greatest strengths, well... Within the uh, churches of God. Yeah, in the churches of God. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's, 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 a, it's fantastic in, uh, in the Philippines with mm. 7,000 members. Uh, but I think the, I think the strength in, in the Pacific is that uh, we're close together. Uh, and we can communicate and travel in that area. We don't have to travel right across the world. I think that helps, and keeping that communication going mm. between New Zealand or just, just come back from New Zealand, mm. Mm. and we're heading, uh, John and I are heading to uh, uh, the Philippines soon. So that's really important, to keep that communication and face-to-face. -face. I'm a face-to-face -face person. You know, all this technology is great, but no, yeah. I'd rather... Talk to somebody face to face. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're having this conversation. Yeah, it's, it's much easier to do. Oh, yeah. Personally, that's yeah. why we have a Super Sabbath, to get people together. And that's what, that was exciting about yeah, it. Yeah. And having a few people from overseas. Yeah, just, to, just to communicate to them that there is other churches mm. in the world yeah, yeah. that believe in the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and blame yeah. beliefs and, and have Christ centered. It's almost yeah. an organic recognition of what the yeah. scriptures say. Yeah. And then looking for a, a fellowship mm. where we can find yeah. that same yeah. journey. And even if we don't understand each other with the language, mm -hmm. we have that, that Holy Spirit connection with each other yeah. through Christ. What do you see some of the challenges that exist within the Pacific Rim? Yeah, that, there is some big challenges there because we're only small in number. Mm. Of course, uh, Philippines is large, but uh, it's, it's having really money, uh, the, the finances and the people mm. to do it yeah. because we're small in number. Mm. But uh, small in number can be good as well. Uh, I, I was just thinking about it coming down here. Uh, the, the argument is the world's getting darker. 
Mm. But I believe while the world is getting dark and more secular, that, may, that means that the people who love God and are of God are getting brighter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The darker it gets, the children get brighter. Mm. So I think uh, I'm always positive in those areas. People, I hear people talk about that and say, yeah. you know, oh, the world's getting darker and more secular. But mm. hey, that means God's children are shining their light and, and of course, to, to do yeah. with the salt yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. So, uh, no. It I'm, really gives weight yeah. to Jesus' words. You That's right. are the light of the world. Exactly right. And so so I'm not negative in that yeah. area. Yeah. 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 And I think also we can say that uh, we can always try harder. Um, secularism is on the rise in the Western oh, yeah. world, and, and we're, no, mm. we're no exclusion to that. No, no. How do you find the challenges with secularism in, 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 the, in the journey of the Church of God and in yeah. the work to evangelise? Yeah. Well, I see it in two areas. The secular, uh, it's, 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 in Australia, mm. wealth is important. Mm. Having, you know, cars, houses... Uh, to them it's more important than maybe searching for God yeah. where we see the opposite mm. overseas mm. Uh, I think that's a big problem we've got too much and we don't rely on God I even heard a minister once say that he can't give me anything and I'm thinking <laughs> wow if a minister's thinking that what's the world thinking yeah. Yeah. Well, you know um, and that's I think it's one of the big challenges but also I think the challenge is there as well as the, for the churches mm. I'm not saying we're special, but we're different. Mm. If, we, if we kept most of the secular, uh, most of the uh, churchy things like, uh, you know, some of the holidays and all that and, and some of the beliefs, we would have a lot more people, mm. but then we wouldn't have the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when God talks about a little flock, and that still could be a, quite large, mm. Uh, I think we're on the right track. Yeah. Um, I, and I think that's where we have a bit of a problem between uh, uh, if we, I always say that, uh, I'm a type of guy that if I was in the mainline churches, I could really whip them up. But it wouldn't be truth. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's that's just right. not right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and that's the problem. That's where we have that, that, uh, mm. that friction. Mm. But never give up. Yeah. I always kept shining a light. We've celebrated the Super Sabbath this weekend with a theme of Bible-based, yes. distinct yet inclusive. Yeah. And that's part yeah. of the 10-point vision. Yeah, that's um, yeah. We've had the opportunity in the last few years to share that IMC-oriented church in Australia. In Australia. How yeah. effective has that sharing been? I think it's been good in our church. Mm. Uh, you know, always when we whip up the banner and everyone's reading it up and down sometimes. And, and yesterday I noticed uh, Pastor Hector used another part mm. of the mm. 10 points. Mm. I think it's very important. Mm. I think it's, it, it gives you a base to work on. Yeah. And we've had, uh, as you know, we've had a, a, a Super Sabbath, but a couple of years ago we had a conference mm -hmm. and we used that theme. Mm -hmm. I think it was the best conference we had. If you were given 10 topics, let's take them out of the 10 point vision, yeah. and say, Phil, you pick the one that you most easily gravitate to. Which would be first the one? The first one. And which Amazing. one is that? Christ centered. Christ centered. Yeah. 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 Well, that's sort of well Christ centered. With Bible based. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, as I have I said before, mm. that um, I'm a stickler for the yeah, word. Yeah. Which would be the least one that you would pick? As you think, oh, it takes more work, I've got to think about it. Different. Witnessing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because if we're honest about it, mm, mm. it's uh, we can share easily enough, mm. but it's that response from the other side. Yeah. They seem to have blocked ears. Well, and that could be part of, of God's understanding you know, and, 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 and will, mm. but uh, we still need to share it. Does it reflect on secularism? And then yeah, I think so. Working? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like I said before, uh, why do you need God when you've got everything? Mm. You know, and you see, the poorer the person is, the closer they are to God. Mm. That doesn't mean we're going to sell everything, mm. but at the same time, it's very, very hard to encourage somebody who's got everything in life and they're busy and they've got, you know, a, a hobby and they go to a club to say, why don't you come to church? Mm. Why don't you listen to what Jesus wants you to know? Mm. What about eternal life? No, worry, why worry about it now? Mm. Mm. Even Christians say that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let me, Lord, don't come back until I've paid my house off. <laughs> well, it's interesting. I've heard that say. In you know? society, the world has impacted... Parts of the body of Christ. Yeah. 
rather than the, the church being the pioneer and the that's right and yeah in christ yeah. in the world L yeah let lord let me get my university degree first so for <laughs> the churches of god in the pacific rim what do you see as the greatest need uh, other than of course finances yeah uh, i think that, well people mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. i think we need uh, uh well if we have more people we can do more things mm -hmm. um I think the greatest need is, is trying to share with the other uh, ch uh, the other churches, the other countries, that we have to be a bit more united in understanding mm. what the ten points mm, system yeah. is. I'm looking now towards the next five years or the next ten years. What's your personal vision in 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 the Pacific Rim that you would like to personally see? Well, let's 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 make it a little bit more selfish. I want to see Australia grow. Yeah. I'd love to. And we've just had an opportunity of a young man from New South Wales, very eager. Mm. We're hoping to look at uh, uh, starting a group there. Mm. Um, so I suppose that's the case. But I, I just, uh, give me that question again. I might be going in the wrong direction. Give me that question again. Now your vision for the Pacific Rim. Okay, all right. I'd like to see uh, we grow in areas like Fiji, mm -hmm. and some of the smaller islands. That, that We've had some response from those areas, yeah. but it didn't seem to go anywhere. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I look at it this way, where the Lord will take us, yeah. we'll go. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe my vision is, Lord, show us the way. Mm. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we try to make the way mm. and try to push it that way, and it doesn't work. Maybe what we should be praying in Australia for, mm. as as uh, and, and we're very blessed that we've we've had more finances mm. and other countries and that, and we've helped helped in that way. But I think it comes down to the Lord showing us the way. And, and one final question: uh, one of the challenges we faced in many churches of God is the attrition of youth to a secularised world. Yeah. Do you have that burden in your heart as well to minister and reach? to the youth of the day and the next generation, preparing them to take over from where we've left off? Well, I'm getting old. I'm trying to encourage the youth mm. to encourage the youth, mm. you know, and sometimes the youth listen to each other, you know, more than maybe an old fellow like me. I'm hoping I can encourage it. And as you've seen, there is mm. youth in the church mm. and, uh, and it's been very supportive. Uh, it's, 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 it's in Adelaide Church. Mm -hmm. uh, I think hopefully you've seen that. Uh, and encouraging and we've been, we've been doing courses. Yeah. They've been just finished their uh, 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 an Old Testament course. So I'm encouraging the younger people to then encourage other younger people. Uh, and I, I think that's the way we want to go. And uh, hopefully you saw that yesterday in the last couple of days that the youth has stood up yeah. and been counted. Uh, we hope that'll grow and grow. Uh, and you know what? They've been bringing more people into the church than the oldies. I think there's a message for all of us. <laughs> Pastor Phil, thank you very much for thank your you. comments. I really appreciate yeah, it. May God right. bless and strengthen and encourage you. Thank you, John. Thank you.